Welcome to another interesting video on probability concepts. We'll try to define equally likely sample space for the given problem, understand what the outcomes could be, and how do we find probability. You may join my classes by sending an email on the address given here. Enjoy the journey of success. Now, let us see how do we solve this question. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmapinstitute.com. In this video, we will discuss probability, sample space, outcomes, and we will try to understand what are the concepts which connect these things. In case you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given here. The basic concepts are, the set of all possible outcomes is sample space, normally written with capital S. An event is a subset of sample space for favorable outcomes. Probability of an event is ratio of favorable outcomes to number of items in the sample space. We could have experimental or theoretical probabilities. Here is a question which are divided into five parts, basically to understand the concepts. Question 1a. Find the set of all possible outcomes. When we say all possible outcomes, it means sample space, S, in the family with exactly three children. Let B and G be boy and girl, respectively. Explain if the above outcomes are equally likely. Part C is define an event A that the three children have same sex. That means either all are boys or all are girls. D. Find the probability of the event A, which is defined in part C, and E is. Find the probability of the event B, where B is at least one girl. So this is another way of writing an event. Event is always written with a capital letter and it could be defined in curly brackets just as shown here. We could also define an event in words as has been done in part C. So I think you got the concepts. You can pause the video now and answer the question. Let's begin with part A. So in part A, we really want to find what are the outcomes which form the sample space. We are looking for exactly three children, right? So, we could make a tree diagram or even write the direct answer. Let me make a tree diagram so that it becomes simpler for all of us to understand. So, so initially, you could have a boy or a girl, right? So, let's say we have a boy or a girl. Now, second time, you may again have a boy or a girl, right? And then the third time, it could be a boy or a girl, right? So, 50-50 chances of having a boy or a girl, they are equally likely events. So, if you go through the first part, we have what? We have boy, 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 right? So, we have three boys. Then we have boy, boy, girl. And then B, G, B. And then we have B, G, G. Boy, girl, girl. And then go through the second part, which is girl first. Boy, boy. Girl, boy, girl girl, 
girl, girl, boy, and all three girls. Do you see that? So that is how you get your sample space. You can write this as sample space is the set of outcomes is basically all boys, BBG, BGB, and then continue, BGG, GBB, and then we have GBG, GGB, and GGG, correct? So, in all, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, there are 8 outcomes in all which are mentioned in the sample space. So, we have 8 outcomes. All these 8 outcomes will form the sample space, right? So, now, within this sample space, we are going to define the events and find probability. B represents boy, G girl. So when I write B, 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 mean all boys. Now part B is explain if the above outcomes e are equally likely. Well, as you can see here, the probability of any one of them is equally likely. So it is 1 over 8. So, yes. so we can say yes. They are equally. likely. Correct. And what is the probability of having either one of them is 1 out of 8. Correct. So, that is how you could do it. Now, let me give a word of caution here. Sometimes you could say the three children outcomes could be all boys, right? Two boys, one girl, I am writing in short, right? One boy, two girl, or three girls. If you give that answer, this is not equally likely. You get the idea? Because, as you can see here, when I say two boys and one girl, then two boys and one girl are actually in two different ways. So, the likelihood of two boys and one girl is more than all boys. So, that is not equally likely. You get the idea? This one is not equally likely. So, that will be a wrong answer. So, the correct answer is the eight outcomes mentioned above and all of them are equally likely. You get the idea, right? Now, let us answer the question, which is the next one, C. Define an event that the three children have same sex. So, event A basically means either it is three boys or it is three girls. So, these are the two outcomes. And when you say probability of event A, so probability of event A will be what? Well, it will be 2 out of 8. Since in sample space, we could also write it in two steps. Number of outcomes which are favorable and the total number of outcomes in the sample space. So, it is 2 which is favorable and 8. So, it becomes 1 out of 4 as the answer, right? The last question pertaining to this situation is, find the probability of the event B, where B is at least one child, at least one girl. So, B is defined as at least one girl. Now, this could be done in two different ways. You know the probability of having a girl, not a girl, all the probability combined is 1, right? 
So we could use complement of the probability that we could do, right? So at least one girl we have seen in our examples, the probability for B could be written as out of 8, let's go through them. Out of 8, we have girls in each except the first one, right? So this is the only exception, all three boys, right? So at least one girl will be 7 out of 8. We will also do this probability as 1 minus the probability of all boys, which is 1 minus 1 out of 8. And that also gives you the same answer as 7 over 8. Is that clear to you? So at least try to understand the term. It really means that except for all three boys, all these 7 belong to that category. So those are 7 favorable outcomes for at least a girl. So I hope with this you understand the concepts, that is, what are possible outcomes for a given event, how do we define these outcomes so that they are equally likely. So in case you define the outcome as these four, then it is going to be incorrect because they are not equally likely, you get the idea. That is the correct answer. Eight outcomes which are all equally likely. So I hope you understand and appreciate our approach. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the given address. Thanks for your time and all the best.